biconditional statement symbolic form so a biconditional statement symbolic form means that I'm going to be taking symbols to represent my conditionals so this is like more of a general example so if I have a biconditional it's going to have this format such that my hypothesis is represented by P Q is my conclusion and I have the words if and only if so if you see the words if and only if then you know we're dealing with a biconditional statement and the words if and only if you may see it in this format as well such that we have the letters IFF and IFF well that's the same exact thing as if and only if so if you see IFF read it as if and only if and a biconditional if you look at the prefix by actually means two so we're talking about two conditionals that's why we call it a biconditional and the two conditionals that we're discussing or that represent the biconditional is this here in other words whatever your biconditional is you should be interpreting it as these two conditionals this is what a biconditional really means right it's basically giving us two conditions and the two conditions we condense it into this format but if I wanted to expand it I would look at it I would rewrite them because you're not always gonna have the biconditionals written out for you so if you read a biconditional and you have trouble understanding what it means it's better to just rewrite the conditional such that you take your P and you're gonna represent that for the hypothesis after the words if you're gonna take the Q and that's your conclusion and put it after the word then and then once you have that conditional you write the converse of the conditional where you switch P and Q and then what you can do next is you would just interpret each of these because it's a little bit easier to figure out what a biconditional actually means by rewriting it such that you have the conditional and you also write out its converse and that's basically what a biconditional statement is in symbolic form